What's up Dapper Squad, it's your boy Darius back at it again with some more Kaguya Sama Love is War Season 2 Episodes 9 and 10. Very, very excited to finish out this season and get into Ultra War Love is Romance, something along those lines, Season 3. I've heard nothing but absolute great things about season three. So I'm very, very excited. Remember, if you guys want early access or full length uncut, check out that Patreon one week or four episodes ahead. Don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when I post over here on the Dapper channel. Much, much appreciated. Let's hop right on into this. Uh, Kaguya-sama, Love is War, season two, episodes nine and 10. Let's do it. All right. Well, after what she's that the things that she thinks she's seen, I understand it, you know. <laughs> I get it. Don't just turn into an old like movie. This is literally like a movie. <laughs> The running in the rain. Oh, yeah, that's such a movie. It's like I'm watching like a K drama or something. I love this. And even, even she's on her side. A weeping angel. This show is so extra. It's so crazy. Okay, your imagination really runs wild. True, we forgot about him at all. Really? Now, I wonder who that is. If I had to place a wild guess, I don't actually think it's Ishigami, 50 Shapes of Love. I would say it's Ishigami because he was one of the ones who looked out for her during the election. And she's not even thinking of him. She is, but eh, partially. That's where she went. That Miyuki's not obeying her, so he has a brand sore instead of a man, a whore. But yeah, I, I, I mean, no, I mean, but no, you didn't. But now, but now you're misunderstanding even more. Oh. I love this is one of my favorite songs they play during the show, honestly. Goes from the piano to the orchestral beautifulness. Damn, that's true love right there. <laughs> what was this episode? What the hell? What? She's, she's still dealing with her love sickness. Her heart, you know? <laughs> okay i know for a fact people in volleyball will you know spin that ball a couple of times maybe give it a couple of bounces same in basketball like the free throw line you know reset your mental i get that have a little ritual So that way you your body instinctively starts to relax when you do this you know 
honestly not a bad idea in terms of people who deal with like a lot of anxiety and stuff like that in public you know so it's not a bad thing to do Ooh. okay ritual master so we need an ultimate test we need to be in like a super intense scenario with miyuki and then this is exactly how i feel playing any fighting game any fgc game one meter <laughs> can't let him close in gotta back off uh oh use the grapple oh she's been charging up her meter though she's using her ultimate He's using the combo. <laughs> Finish her. Oh, okay. Never mind. <laughs> this show is so fucking extra. I love it. You lose. Did Ishigami used to be a cheerleader? Don't get me wrong, cheerleading is very unique, but it takes a lot of physical strength, a lot of physical attributes that are crazy, you know? Oh, shouts out my male cheerleaders out there. Okay, I like that. I like that. Why did the camera go in his mouth? I did not need that. Instagrammable Team Red. Okay. The absolute ye crazy hot Instagrammable. I won't lie, they're way too energetic for me, but I like this. I really like the song that they play. Oh, Skype is a throwback for me. Good lord. Huh? What? What the? What? Yeah, what the fuck kind of outfit is that? What are we gonna ask? Kaguya or Chika? I would say rightfully so. That's kind of interesting thing to ask, you know? Oh yeah, we got Eno as well. I love how Ishigami's doing the impression. <laughs> yep, yep. Speak of the devil. I don't mean to call Kagi a devil, but just saying. I am so shocked that he is on the cheerleading squad. That's a good classmate right there, Kaguya. You're a total ye crazy how don't start don't start saying that. If Miko Ino walks in and it, she sees this, I'm gonna be so butthurt. If Miko e like Yep. The timing on this is something else. What is up with you walking in here and seeing the most wild stuff, you know? She's like, I'm done. I'm done. I'm leaving. <laughs> I won't lie. There's a lot of guys that I know that let... This is obviously isn't their girlfriend, but there's a lot of guys that know that their girlfriend gets bored, so they do their makeup. They have a whole thing about it, you know? Hilarious. Women love this. I, I assume. I don't know. Your pecs are gonna stretch it out more than Kaguya. Yeah, Kaguya did that because of his comment. That is hilarious.
Practice in the courtyard every Tuesday and Thursday at 5. Alright. Alright. The story continues in Victory and Defeat at the Sports Festival. Is that like next episode or next little mini part? Yeah. Okay, Victory and Defeat at the Sports Festival. I'm ready. Cheerleading Ishigami. Good lord. Alright, on to episode 10. Let's do it. Uh-oh. Nervous breakdowns are never good. She's still avoiding him. Okay, what do you have to say, Kay? Can Kay reignite this relationship between us? Well, I mean, if you see a flower with petals broken off like that, it's the classic, she loves me, she loves me not. She loves me, she loves me not, you know? I've always wanted to do that, never done that. I did that like Super Mario 64. Okay. Okay. So that's what they're me saying when she's going through a rebellious teenager phase. She just doesn't want to do anything they That does happen. I have a little sister as well. I can somewhat relate. I can somewhat relate. Okay, Jimmy Neutron, don't... That's such a predicament. She, grilling via verbal abuse. She sounds like Kaguya. I wonder what would happen if Miyuki told them that it was Ka Kaguya, you know? I'm sure the dad would love the Shinomiya family, but I think Kay loves Kaguya as well. I'm your sugar daddy, so never say that again. What the fuck? This man just said, I'm your sugar daddy. That's why he's the still the Ishigami thing. I thought he would have got over that literally already. I mean, yeah, they can definitely relate to that. I don't mean to pause it, but I'm... Can you guys answer me this? I'm 100% recognizing the voice actor for Miyuki's dad. Maybe I'll remember looking it up at the end of this episode, but odds are usually I forget within the next 30 seconds. So if you guys know off tops, let me know, because I love you guys. I know, right? Ooh, some women perspective. Great point. Some genuine advice right there from a sister. And some genuine appreciation from a brother. You love to see it. Ooh, calm down. It's a good move, Kaguya. Boy right there. <laughs> what did he say he could dance? <laughs> this man needs to stop lying to Chica. So as I was literally just about to say, Chica's the best coach when it comes to everything. <laughs> so volleyball, singing, dancing. Wow, I know. That was pretty fucking sweet. You'll never be ever. <laughs> you know, as someone who also feels like they, they coach some incompetent people sometimes, I know exactly how she feels. The feeling of a net, the feeling of being dragged in.
ちはこんなにすぐ代わりを用意する切り替えの速さには感服すらしています続きをどうぞ一つ一つの所作を丁寧に分かってないな藤原さん何か言いましたかいえ別に私の教え方に何か<笑> He's being so passive aggressive <laughs> and sarcastic there's there's the duality to that you know i like that both sides i just that's this was the funny chica is oh my god is she so funny but you're not wrong both are not wrong in terms of interpretation and expression the audience is going to get their own thing from it versus in terms of the dance itself it does go beyond the moves there are deeper meanings and and things that resonate as well but i'm not often jealous of miyuki but to have Kaguya and Chika both fighting for me? They're gonna rip this man in half! So he knows, now he can... Man, just like a fucking Super Saiyan! What the hell is the show, guys? I'm sorry, but I just remember you as Eko's friend. You know, I said Miko. I said Eko. I'm horrible. I'm glad I'm not the only one who thinks that. I'm glad I think that as well. Or so the rumor goes. I don't think it was quite like that. Yeah, that's how it goes with things like these. Like, you really can't stop rumors like these once they've cemented, you know? So in his mind, I assume he's like, there's no point in even trying. Exactly like Bunny Girl, you know? She is, uh, she's pretty observant. I like her so far. I mean, they could tell he's taking it seriously, you know, he's working. Whether it be wearing the girl's uniform, whether it be doing the cheers. Man's is putting in the work. You say that, and it's funny, like, there's a duet, like, I love this show because one, obviously, it's so extra, it's so OD, so funny, hilarious, but there are multi-facets of it, if that makes sense. There is complexity, there's layers, and that was a layer right there in which one a girl who's best friends with a social outcast recognizes the relatability and similarness to another social outcast and knows specifically you know the rumor that he's gone through and what that's done to his social life and and so with that being said her specific job is normally to keep the bad apples from going down the bad apple path which has sort of somewhat of a negative connotation to it but i firmly believe in this case she is purely looking out for the best interests of Ishigami, asking the leaders, you know, he's taking it seriously, treat him seriously, this, that, or the other. And I think because of his relatability to, to, Iko, to Miko Ino, that she is somewhat liking Ishigami right now. I'm really liking her ob observations and her social adaptability. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but I, I this, like, that was one of the deepest moments of the show for me so far right there is how Ishigami is dealing with social anxiety. How he relates to someone else yet yeah, they really don't like each other but it's how it goes in school you know it is i don't know i really like that shouts out and i just said i wasn't gonna write her name down because i only knew her as eno's friend i disrespected her i need to write her name down now yep <laughs> We finally get to meet Chika's dad. Damn. I do wonder how they split up the teams. I was thinking it was by years, but no, because Kaguya and her, the the girlfriend of the, you know, are, are on white team white, so. She has to stay outside of her crowd to cheer for him. Shouts out to her. 
<laughs> She's a real one. He's gonna act like a... Yep, you've called a couple of times. Yep. He wants to get a perspective on his son from someone else, one of his friends. I'd be glad to. Not wrong. That's that's the real question at hand. What is he to you? You know you're a good dude when you change a woman's perspective on life, you know? <laughs> yes, I do. This happens to be my father. I'm not sure those are the terms I would say, but <laughs> yep, yep. That's Miyuki's dad for you. God damn it, man. Yeah, his first time being cheered on. Come on. And they got first. That's what we love to see. So, who was that? Was that blonde girl at the end there? Was that Onodera? That blonde girl was kind of roasting Ishigami, but also in the cheer with him? I'm curious. I'm curious. Well, goodness gracious, those were some absolutely fantastic episodes. <laughs> I can't get over the ending right there. <laughs> and how, what did she say? How much of a delightful mis mischief, <laughs> mischief uh, Miyuki's dad was? Like, that's just hilarious to me. But we started off with Ishigami joining the cheer squad, which I thought was just going to be more of a side funny thing. Not really anything that has any relativeness to his character. But we're getting in depth on Ishigami's character, and I'm really liking that. He's someone who suffered from social outcast syndrome. We can call it that. I just made that up on my SOS. And, and you know, he just deals, he just kind of lives in his own little bubble now and kind of deals with life day to day. I'm curious who Odu Onodera is, the blonde. I think that's the girl at the end. I'm really interested in Miko Ino's friend and her relationship, how that's going to develop with Ishigami. I really liked her observations on Ishigami. I'm really glad he's joining the cheer squad. Something to do, you know, like extracurriculars, I feel like are always amazing for, for people in general, especially young people. But Ka shouts out Kaguya, letting him wear her uniform. I appreciate that immensely. Um, the Miyuki family, whether it be Kay, his sister or his dad or something else, just hilarious. And then obviously Chika as the teacher best teacher in all of anime i won't i won't lie you got you got some of the goats like you got jiraiya kakashi chika right there you know on that list it's just so funny yeah, these are such funny episodes hopefully you guys enjoyed if you did please leave a like let me know your thoughts down below in that comment section don't forget to subscribe and to click that bell so you guys always know when i post over here on the dapper channel check out that patreon if you don't want to wait you got one week early access four episodes and full length uncut I'm going to drink some water. Tell someone you love them. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.